I remember when when kind of Gunner first burst on the scene, um, and you just had such a kind of distinctive <laughs> character and aura about you. I mean, where did obviously the Gunner name is rooted in your in your role in the U.S. Marines? Did you suggest that name, or how did that creative come about? They yeah they so they gave us the idea of uh, we pitched a couple names and that was one of them I pitched and it did come from like the military so like I was motor T operator by job title in the Marine in the Marine Corps but when we were overseas I was mainly op- a lot of the times you see the guys on top of the truck manning like the weapon the fifty cal or whatever it may be so I was like well you know maybe I'll use the word the name Gunner and it kind of and it kind of clicked I mean it was just it was one name those were they were big mm-hmm. in those days. And it just it stuck. So um, they they were really cool with hey let's just run with that. And they kind of let me do my own thing with character wise. Like I always I knew I wasn't going to be this big cartoon flashy character because it's really what wrestling <clears throat> kind of steered away from. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now you had certain guys, Jay Lethal, come in doing the macho and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> you know, yeah, man, I love it. But for me, it was just like okay, well, that's just not who I am. Like I'm just I always like. You, nobody's going to be a Steve Austin. Don't get me wrong, but I always thought, well, Steve Austin just came in as this—he was just fighting all the time. He was—he was just mad all the time, um, and that's really—I think it's kind of where I latched on to. It was like, who am I as a person? Yes, I can be entertaining and funny um, if I need to be, but that's really what I did with the Gunner characters—just ran with the uh, the aggressive side. 